In this video, I will show you how to open long and short positions on MEXE Global. If you want to get the best sign up bonus possible on MEXE, you simply have to go down to the video description, click on the link and you will get to exactly this page right here and you can get up to $1,000 in welcome bonuses. Simply enter your email address and a password right here and then you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, the page will look like this and I want to directly show you how you can deposit money. We can either deposit with crypto or with fiat. First, I'm going to show you how it works with crypto. Simply go up here to your wallet and then click on deposit. Then you will get to this page right here. First, you can select your crypto right here. So select Bitcoin or whichever cryptocurrency you want. In this case, I'm going to stick with US dollar tether. Then choose a network, Tron network, Binance network. In this case, for example, Ethereum network. And you will get your personal depositing address right here. So simply send that crypto over that network to this address and you will have it right here on your account. The second option is of course to deposit with fiat. To do that we simply have to go up here to buy crypto and then we have two different options either with our debit or credit card or with a simple bank transfer. First I'm going to show you how it works with a debit or credit card. Simply click on here. Type in the amount you want to deposit and select your fiat currency and then choose between USDT or USDC. Of course, we can later on exchange that USDT for any other currency. It's important to know you cannot hold any fiat on here. You can only hold crypto. So what this does is it converts your fiat directly into crypto and then you will have that crypto right here on your account. Simply leave it at USDT right here and then click down here on add card. Then you will need to enter your personal card details. And once you're done with that, simply click down here on buy now and then you're already done. The second option is to use a bank transfer simply go up back here to buy crypto and then click on global bank transfer choose your currency and enter your amount again same thing you will receive it in usdt right here and then as you can see down here the bank transfer is already selected once you then click on buy now down here you will be presented with the bank details you need for the bank transfer which consists of a recipient name an eban and a reference code. Make sure you include this reference code right here in your bank transfer. You can then enter that bank transfer simply from your online banking and therefore send money here to MEXE. It has a zero fee, so no fees at all for that. And as you can see, it can take up to two days. And if your bank supports an instant transfer, it can even take only two hours. All right, so once you have made any deposit, you can always check if the money has already arrived by simply going up to your wallet and then click on spot. Here you get an overview of all of your balances that you have on your account. So if you scroll down here, simply check if the USDT has already arrived. You will see the balance right here. Once you have the money right here on your account in US Solar Tether, we then need to transfer it to our futures account. And to do that, we simply go up here and then click on transfer. Then we select from our spot account to our futures account. Choose USDT right here, select all and click on transfer. Then if we go to futures, we can see now that we have the balance right here and now we can trade with it. To do that, we then go up here to Futures, Perpetual and USDTM Futures. Then you will get to this trading page right here. It might look a bit complicated at the beginning, but we're going to go through all of the things right now step by step. So first of all, you can choose the trading pair up here. So if you go in here, you can see you can choose Bitcoin, Ethereum, whichever one you would like. You can also search for one. In this case, let's stick with Bitcoin. Down here you can see the price charts. You can also select different time frames right here if you want to do so. Here you can see the order book, all the selling orders in the market and the buying orders in the market and the recently happened trades. Down below, here's the part where you can see all of your opened position. We'll get into that in just a bit when we open our first position and also such as open orders or your order history. Here on the right side, you can see your total profit and your wallet balance. So how much you have in your futures account right here. You could also deposit more or transfer more right here. And if we scroll up here on the right side, this is where we can open and close our trades. First, I want to show you the fees a little bit. Right here, you can see we have a 0% maker fee. So if you're using a limit order and a 0.02% taker fee, which means always when you use a market order. I can tell you these fees are by far the lowest on any crypto leverage trading exchange. All right, so let's open our first long position. We go up here, click on open, select here isolated and choose our leverage right here. You can choose up to a 200x leverage. In this case, let's start off with a 5x leverage. So we go down a little bit, click on confirm, and then we've set that up right here. Then we have to choose the position size. You can see your available balance right here. And here we can type in the position size. For example, in this case, I'm gonna type in 400 US dollars. And what that means is we only have to pay $80 of our own money for that position because 80 times five with a 5x leverage means a $400 total position size. 
So this is how this works. Of course, if I adjust the leverage, I can get an even higher position size with even less money. But uh, just so you know how it works, this is what it costs us from our own capital, which is also called margin. This is the leverage and this is the entire position size that we will have eventually. So I'm going to stick with 400 for now. I want to open a long position. I can also add a take profit or stop loss right here immediately. I could either type in a price for my take profit and stop loss right here or also type in the return on investment. So my percentage uh, profit or loss or my P&L as dollar values. In this case, I'm going to choose it as percentage. So I'm going to say I want to close my take profit when I'm 30% in a profit. It will automatically calculate the price for me. And I want to also close the position when I'm, let's say, 7% in a loss. And this will mean, you can always see, this is the price. So I will make $23 at this price, which is 30%. And this will be my loss at that price with that percentage return. All right, then I can just click on open long, click on confirm, and I'm in my long position right now. If I scroll in a little bit, you can immediately see this is right here where I entered the market. Here is my take profit and down here is my stop loss. All right, if I scroll down a little bit, you can also see right here, this is the display of our opened position. And we're going to go through that step by step right now. So first of all, I can see it's a Bitcoin trade with a 5x leverage and it's a long position. I can see the position size of $400. I can see my entry price and the current price. And I can also see a liquidation price. So what that means is we currently have a stop loss, but if we wouldn't have a stop loss right here and the price would go down this much to this price, so to $55,000 in this case, then this trade would be closed automatically by the platform, which is also called liquidated. And then we would lose all of our margin right here, which is our own capital. As you've seen the 80 initial dollars from our own capital, you can see them right here. So this is effectively our own money in this trade. And we would lose that at that price if we wouldn't have a stop loss. Of course, that won't happen because we have the stop loss right here. So margin is our own capital. Then we have the unrealized profit. So currently the price has dropped a little bit since we opened the position. So we are 16 cents in a loss. And here you can also see your take profit and stop loss. Again, you can see the prices. And if we click on this right here, you can edit them at any point. You can you can also say, for example, you only want to close half of your position at that point. And then you can also see, of course, you're only taking half of the profit. So you can switch these numbers up or also choose a higher price. Also change the return on investment right here, whichever one you want. Click on confirm and you can adjust always your take profit and stop loss that way. Of course, you can also add additional take profit or stop loss if you want to do so. So if you want to like have partial take profits, you can set multiple ones and also multiple stop losses. And also, if you go into your open orders, you can see them always right here as well. You can also cancel them if you want to do so. And that's how you can also manage your take profit and stop loss later on. All right. So now you can, of course, wait until your take profit or stop loss is hit. Or, of course, at any point, you can also close your position if you want to do so. Simply go down here and click on flash close either. Or if you only want to close part of your position, you can also go up here, click on close. Choose how much percent of your position you want to close. For example, half of it. Click on close long confirm and then as you can see now it's only $200 left in this position and we took half of it out. If you want to close the entire position simply go in here and click flash close. Before I do that I also want to show you how you can increase your position size at any point. Simply go back here on open, choose an amount like let's say we're going to add like another let's say like $300 or something. This will cost us you know $60 of our own money because of the 5x leverage again. Let's get rid of the take profit and stop loss. Click on open long confirm and now we're back at $500 position size. So that's no problem. Of course, at any point you can also increase your leverage. That's also no problem. Simply go up here and choose a different leverage. Let's say we're going to use a 7x leverage. You can of course see now we can open even higher position sizes. I can click on confirm and as you can see now I adjust the leverage to the 7x leverage and now can, I can of course add even more money to the position without any problems. As you can see right now, for example, I could add, of course, $700 to the position with only $100 of my own capital. So that's very simple how I can, of course, at any point increase the position size even more. Okay, last but not least, I also can show you how you can close the position. Simply go in here to flash close and this will just at any point close the entire position immediately. So I'm click on confirm right here and then you're completely out of the market again. Okay, now I also want to show you how you can do the same for a short position. Simply go here on the right, click open, choose your leverage. Let's go for a 5x again. Type in the amount. Let's go for $400. Let's get rid of the take profit or stop loss. We can also add that later and then just tap open short. Click on confirm. 
and we're now in the short position. You can see now here it's a short. Basically everything else is exactly the same. Only difference is right now the liquidation price is now of course above the current price because we are making a loss if the price goes up and we're making a profit if the price goes down. And of course the take profit or stop loss, you can add that right here later on too. You know, at the beginning we added it here, but you can also do that later in here. Just click on add. Say, let's say we want to make a 50% profit and the loss, let's say like 10%. Click on, you can see our profit and loss again right here. Then click on confirm. And now we've set that as well. If you scroll out a little bit, you can see here is our stop loss. This will be a loss and this will be the profit. And here is our take profit. So everything else is basically exactly the same. Closing parts of the position again, which is exactly the same as a long position and open. If you add multiple shorts, this will increase the position size. And of course you can edit the leverage right here as well for this position. Okay, so now let me close the entire position again. Let's go to flash close, confirm, and I'm out of the short position again. Don't forget to create an account on MEXC by using the link down from the video description to get the best sign up bonus possible with up to $1,000 in bonuses. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.